The following is a 40-minute meditation on awareness of the breath and the body as a whole. Take a moment to settle yourself on a cushion on the floor or in a chair in a dignified and upright posture, a posture that promotes wakefulness. You will notice that there are longer periods of silence in this recording. This is intentional. Relax and simply work with the previous instructions during these silent periods. Like all meditations, we will begin and end with three bells. Allow the sound of the bells to bring you into the present moment, to a place of being, not doing. Notice the sensations of sitting, the weight of your body on the cushion or chair. Your feet on the floor. the touch of your hands. As you are ready, close your eyes, or if you prefer leaving the eyes slightly open and downcast, notice the preference. Begin to become aware of the gentle movement of the body with the in breath and the out breath. Noticing the breath as it flows over the tip of the nostrils, down the throat, and into the lungs, then turning and flowing out from the lungs to the throat, to the nostrils. One full breath cycle in and out, followed by another. Spending a few moments narrowing your awareness to that small triangular area in front of the nostrils and the subtle sensations of moving air flowing over the upper lip and the tip of the nose, in and out. Often narrowing awareness to more subtle sensations can increase concentration and alertness.
Now, if you wish, you may move your awareness deeper into the body, into the abdominal area, where sensations of breathing may be more diffuse. It's possible you may notice that the breath lengthens and deepens. And now for the purposes of this sitting, pick the one area of the body, either the nostrils or the abdominal area, as the anchor of attention. Pick the area based on perhaps where the breath is most accessible to you. Or perhaps you feel a need to sharpen your focus. Make it your intention for this city to stay with the breath as an anchor and to return to that anchor when you find yourself lost in thought. Use the breath as an anchor throughout this entire sitting. You may, of course, choose another anchor for future sittings. But for now, pick a particular anchor for breathing and come back to that whenever necessary throughout the rest of the meditation. If it is difficult to settle, if your mind is going all over the place, or you are emotionally upset about something, lost in yet another movie about the past or the future. Notice where your mind has gone. Gently shift back to your breath as an anchor to the present moment. It's extremely common to have your attention wander many times into thinking or images and then back to the breath during a given sitting. It is also common to be so caught up in an emotional upheaval. The mind is held replaying events of the past or planning actions in the future and that turning back to the breath is a rare and fleeting event in a 40-minute sit. 
This too is a very common experience. Each sitting is unique, ephemeral, and impermanent, not to be judged as good or bad, but to be met with kindness, just what it is for now. When you find your mind has drifted and you have awakened to being off the breath, you might take a second to note where the mind has gone. You might even drop a brief label, like thinking or planning or worrying. Don't get caught in labeling, just a word or two. It can be helpful to work with the mind, body, and breath with curiosity and with an intention to be inquisitive about what is happening right now. Then move back to the breath. What are the actual sensations of this breath? How does intention work? What is awareness? Notice how, as the breath settles and quiets, so too does the body and the mind. As the mind becomes steadier and less active, so the breath quiets. You may begin to sense a deep stillness and a deep sense of silence. Now, if it is comfortable for you, you may widen and expand the focus of your intention to the entire body, noticing perhaps how the whole body moves with the breath, the inhale and the exhale, the expansion of the back, the lift of the shoulders with the in-breath, 
the movement of the chest, the expansion of the lungs, and then the relaxation of the body and the chest and the back and the shoulders as the breath moves out. widening now to other sensations in the body as a whole. Pressure, touching, being touched, temperature, the position of the body in space, being with the experience, not ahead of it, resting in the moment. You may notice the touch of clothing on various parts of your body or temperature changes, places where you make contact with the cushion, the chair. If thinking has become the focus, then be aware once again of the breath coming home to that anchor.
You may be experiencing bodily sensations that are pleasant or unpleasant. Painful sensations, discomfort. You may work with pain in several different ways. You may try directing your attention right to the unpleasant sensation. This, of course, is not the normal reaction, the reaction of aversion and pulling away, in which we usually meet any kind of unpleasant sensations in the body. But for now, being with the actual sensation of pain and discomfort. As best you are able, direct your attention directly into the painful part of the body. Keep the mind open and curious. Notice your emotional reactivity to painful sensations in the body, aversion, a need to pull away, wanting it to be different. Often we find ourselves making up stories about pain going on and on, pain never changing, pain being chronic and constant in our bodies. Notice that. If this becomes too difficult, go back to the breath as the anchor once again. If even that is difficult, sometimes it's helpful to find some place in the body that's not feeling any sense of discomfort. You might direct your attention into your feet if they're not bothering you right now, or into your thighs. or perhaps into your hands. And then if you're able, go back to investigating that part of your body which is giving you strong sensations.
As you work with pain in this way, you may become aware of a pattern of emotional reactivity that arises when you experience intense discomfort or pain in the body. It may come with a story of future difficulty, feelings of anxiety or even fear, or perhaps feelings of resignation and loss. Be mindful of those experiences. As you're working with painful sensations, you may wish to move or shift your body to be more comfortable. But do this with mindful awareness. Do so by fully noting the unpleasant sensations and then slowly shifting position and noting whatever changes happen with the shifting. As you settle into a new position, note the changes there. Bring kindness, gentleness, and curiosity to this action.
At this point, you may wish to take a moment to scan through the entire body, bringing awareness to the feet, noting any sensations that predominate there. Noting sensations in the legs. The dental movement of the chest and the abdomen with the in-breath and the out-breath. The slight rise of the shoulders and the movement throughout the entire torso with each breath. As you do this, you may once again notice areas of tension, tightness, and discomfort. And notice your reactions to these sensations. On the other hand, there may be sensations of quietness, sensations of relaxation and ease present in your body. Notice again if you find yourself wanting more of these pleasant sensations, believing that mindfulness meditations should be about these pleasant sensations and not about unpleasant sensations. Noticing here the judgment about what a good or bad meditation is. In a moment, the bells will ring to end this sitting. After the bells ring, take some time to slowly move parts of your body, perhaps your feet, your hands, your legs. Slowly open your eyes, downcast at first. Notice if you can retain some awareness of the body and the breath, even as you stand and move into other activities. Remember, you can return to awareness of the breath and the body at any time during the day as a way of coming back to the here and now.